Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be covering the watermark feature in Microsoft Word. Now this feature is especially useful if you're wishing to add a watermark to make your documents uh, official, um, if they need to be legally binding, things like that. So we'll show you how to incorporate those within your document. So we have our Word document displayed here, uh, just with some sample text with some different styling. And if we want to apply a watermark, the first step we'll do is go ahead and navigate to the Design tab here in our ribbon. And then once selected, we will come over to the Page Background section, and then we'll go ahead and select Watermark right here. Once selected, it will then uh, display a dropdown with a couple of default watermarks that you can quickly add to your document. We'll just go ahead and show what that looks like real quick. So we'll go ahead and select the diagonal Do Not Copy Watermark. And then once selected, as we can see, it's just a transparent watermark that has been applied to the document that doesn't affect any of the text that's already existing in our document. If you have a watermark on your document and you would like it to be removed, you can just do that with a couple of simple clicks. We'll go ahead and navigate back to the watermark button. And then once selected, we'll come down to one of the last few options here for remove watermark. And then one click, it will then remove that watermark from our document. Now this feature is very customizable, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the two different ways you can customize your watermark for your document. To do that, we'll go ahead and click on the button for watermark and display that again. And then we'll come down to right above remove watermark is this custom watermark selections. We'll go ahead and click on that. And we have two options, uh, the first of which being picture, which we'll get to that one. But we'll take a look at a text watermark. So once we select the bubble for a text watermark, it will then give us a couple different drop downs for customizing this watermark. We can select a different language. So any language essentially you would like to have your watermark displayed in. The text, so what you want your watermark to say, and they do provide a couple different options here, anything from ASAP, uh, original draft, do not copy, top seeker, and urgent. Let's go ahead and leave it as ASAP for this uh, example. And also font, you can select a font that is specific to you and your organization and your branding from the drop down here. And then also size, it will size it automatically, but it will give you some different uh, font sizes if you need it larger, smaller, nothing that would be distracting from your document. The last option here would be color. So if you want a specific color to be displayed, you can select any of the theme colors or standard, standard colors within the selection here or more colors if you want to select a color that's specific to you. We'll go ahead and just click red for example and then you can have it displayed diagonally or horizontally. We'll go ahead and click apply. We can just see how it is displayed on our page. Give us a little preview. I think that looks good and we'll click close. Lastly we'll go over how to add a picture or an image as your watermark. To do that we're just going to go ahead and remove the current one we have and then in the watermark button, we'll go ahead and bring up that custom watermark pop-up. And then we'll select picture watermark. And underneath that, we'll then select the picture we would like as our watermark. We'll choose from a file. And from this example, we'll go ahead and use the Computer Workshops logo. And click insert. Now it will scale it automatically. So if you want it a certain percentage of scale, you can definitely go ahead and select that here. We'll leave it as auto for this example. Click apply just to preview. As we can see, it has been applied to our background. Click close. And now we have our document branded and specific to, to us. And that will conclude today's tutorial. As always, I hope that you found this helpful. If you have an idea for a topic that you would like to see us cover in one of our future videos, definitely leave us a comment in the comment section below. I also invite you to check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you aren't already. We upload educational videos and tutorials like this every Friday at 9 a.m. So definitely don't want to miss these great resources that we are creating for you. Also invite you to visit www.tcworkshop.com and check out some of the awesome upcoming training and classes that we have. We do deliver virtually. So you can take your class essentially anywhere you'd like. With that being said, thank you for tuning in today and look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.